Hey, I'm Matt Cooley, and we're in Dixon, California, and I'm with Cool Patch Pumpkins, home of the 2007 World's Largest Corn Maze by Guinness Book World Records. It's 2008, and we are three acres bigger than last year. Uh, and we actually, if you buy the book this year, 2009 edition, we're in it, which is pretty amazing, you know, for us. We're pretty happy with that. We had our first pumpkin patch in winters in the year 2000. Um, nobody came. <laughs> Two years later, we decided, well, let's try to have a little maze. We had a little 10-acre maze and a little 10-acre pumpkin patch, and now it's grown to 40 acres of pumpkins and 43 acres of maize. We've added teepees. If you look around, you can. there's teepees here to play in for the kids, a big pyramid of straw. Uh, a new addition this year is our, we call it a corn bath. It's like a sandbox full of kernels of corn, 20 tons of corn. It's, it's pretty fun for the kids to play in. The way we design the corn maze is my brother, Mark, and his daughter, Corinne, go on an Excel spreadsheet. And all the little blocks that you see on the spreadsheet represent 30 feet square. So we flag the whole 43 acres like a grid of 30 foot squares. Then we come in when the corn's about six inches tall with little special weed eaters we have and we cut the trail out and that's how we, so it actually grows as the maze. When we make the maze we have the grid out there and there's little white flags or pink flags that have like A12, C14 to tell you where you are in, in proportion to the map as you look at the map. Um, now as the year goes on of course kids come out and change the things around so you can be out there and you can have actually no idea where you are. So we go out there periodically every week and, and fix them try to you know, so people can at least, you know, have the fun of knowing where they are. It gets very confusing if you don't know where you are. It really does. But it's fun. People come out and get lost, and the biggest question is, well, of course, you know, what do you do when you get lost? Well, you can find a friend or make a new friend. A lot of people make new friends in the maze. They meet up with people and, hey, can you help me get out of here? And if you, if you absolutely have to, you can just walk one direction to get out but it's, it's more fun to try to follow the trail and then eventually, eventually, of course, everybody gets out. Sometimes an hour and a half, about average. There's been little 15-year-old kids that just stay out there for three or four hours and just, just wandering around. We're open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day until November 9th. It's $10 for an adult, $6 for 12 down to 5, and 5 and under is free.